Hi, my name is Matt. And I'm Robin. And we're your trainers for your six week chaos class that is starting January 9th. We've had a lot of people ask questions on what the workouts are going to be like, the styles of training that we do, and just general information. So we are creating this video to outline what Monday through Thursday will be like and also Saturday. So if you have any more questions that we do not cover, feel free to email us. We will give you information at the end of the video. Mondays are more of a calorie burner. Usually throughout the weekend, people tend to slip a little bit on nutrition and workouts, may have burned less calories and consumed more. So Mondays will be circuit, total body conditioning type of activities with kettlebells. On that, there will be a lot of timed sets. So I'll say 30 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest, 30 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. A lot of high volume, high intensity type of activities. Some of it will be no brainer type of things. You don't have to think much about it. Body weight activities blended with some um, high intensity full body lifts. So. The Mondays will be more of a leave here, sweaty, out of breath, high calorie burn type of days. So this is a little bit of an example here of what a Monday circuit may look like. Not necessarily what every Monday will be. However, on this one I have three basic activities, a squat, a squat and pull, and a goblet squat. We'll do 10 reps of the first, switch right into 10 reps of the second, and then right into 10 reps of the third activity. Very fast pace. It will get your heart rate spiked, it'll get you breathing a little bit heavier, and it will also burn some calories. So this right here is an example of what a Monday workout may reps. look like. Good form, but at a fast pace. I go through this. Regular squat is our most basic activity. Then I go into squat with a pull. Pulling up high with my elbows every single time. This is my 14, 15, 16 of our 30 rep circuit. Then I go into my goblet squat, which is our most advanced exercise of the set. On this one, about number three is when you start to feel your heart rate increase, my breathing starts to intensify, keeping it somewhat simple still, focusing on our big muscles in our body, our legs, and our rear end. So, fast paced, we take somewhat simple activities, blend them together, do three, four, maybe five activities in a row, try to work on increasing your heart rate, don't make it too complicated, so you can work hard, you don't have Tuesdays are our kickboxing days and these days are primarily focused on cardiovascular conditioning and getting your heart rate up as much as we can to burn as many calories. Um, the equipment we'll be using is heavy, our heavy bags, uh, focus mitts, uh, punch shields, um, just various equipment um, that are all boxing style type equipment to get that heart rate up. You don't have to be a pro boxer to get a lot out of this class as long as you're willing to hit the bag hard and quick, you'll get enough out of it. I'm going to show you just a few um, exercises that we'll use quite often in class, um, but class is not limited to what I show you. Um, it'll be different every time you come, and hopefully you get a lot out of it. One of the first things I'm going to show you is a heavy bag sprint. This is focused on quickness and speed, squaring up the feet, going as quick as you can. That will surely get your heart rate up pretty quick. Speed hooks as well. Here. Lots of core involved in that one, getting that twist in there. Uh, machine gun kicks is another one we'll use as well. Side kicks. Various combos. show you is a punch and run. This one is for sure to get your heart rate up. <laughs> Again, that's just a few of the exercises that you can expect during our kickboxing days. So, strength-based, 
these are the days where we're going to be uh, doing activities maybe with a partner you do a certain number of reps then they step in they do a certain number uh, larger lifts a little bit more technical that we can slow down and take our time on so this is an example of what a Saturday or excuse me a Wednesday activity will look like activities that you may see we do a lot of core work uh, windmill press is a very technical activity that we do um, sometimes I may have you do a squat with a press so the activities that you'll see on Wednesdays they may be a little bit more technical. Some of this stuff that I show you, you're probably thinking, no way can I do that. However, since we are slowing it down, doing more of a strength day, I have all the time in the world to sit there, hammer on form, explain what I want you to do. Um, so this is where we can really make the progress and then eventually we can blend in our Wednesday activities into our Monday circuits. So I did the windmill press, I did a squat and press. Um, sometimes we may work on kettlebell juggling. Once again, right now, some of these activities seem a little bit advanced, but with some work and some practice on form on our Wednesdays, some of this stuff can become pretty fun. We have side flips where we're actually getting our kettlebell in the air. A lot of this stuff unintentionally works your abs, your lower back, your upper body. That's the beauty of kettlebells. We have figure eights. This is another one that I really like to focus on. Good full body workout. So, that's an example of what our Wednesdays will look like. Don't want you to be afraid of kettlebells. Mondays, kick the pace up, burn some calories. Wednesdays, slow down just a little bit. That's when it's a little more of a practice time. The other day that I will be teaching are Thursdays. This is a total conditioning day. I compare this day to kind of an indoor boot camp type style class. I use all types of equipment that you may not find in a normal fitness class. Uh, Liebert equalizers, scooter rollouts, uh, heavy ropes, um, not limited to that and much more equipment, but stuff that you wouldn't find in a normal everyday fitness class. Um, this is also a day that I add more of a running component to class. Um, we'll go to the gym and use the track and do different types of running drills to get that heart rate up and get the most calorie burn out of the, this class. Um, I'm going to show you a few of the different exercises that we use with the equipment that you may not find in that fitness class. These here are the Liebert bars. First one I'm going to do is a pull up. You can also do tricep dips. Lots of stuff you can do with those. Also, another piece of equipment that I like to use a lot is the heavy ropes. Again, a few different exercises that you can expect on Thursdays. Just to clarify, Saturdays we will have uh, two sessions offered. One starts at 8 a.m. The next starts at 9 a.m. They're both an hour long, same type of format that we do in our regular days. Uh, 
If you sleep in, can't make the 8 o'clock, come in on the 9 o'clock one, that's fine. We will lead you through the whole, uh, whole workout just like a regular day. And if you want to come in on your own, you can do that as well. We'll have equipment off to the side of the room. You can run through your own routine if you have to get out of here early. So Saturdays, more of a, a great day to get your weekend started right. Come in, get a good workout in before you have your weekend plans. It is an awesome way to get your fifth day of exercise in per week. So hopefully you get some benefit out of this video. Try to clear a lot of confusion. This is not a strictly kettlebell class. This is not a boxing class. This is a full body emphasis. Strength, power, conditioning, cardio, all of it blended into one. It's not Robbins. I'm gonna run a marathon class, it's not mats, I'm gonna lift a thousand pounds class. It's a awesome blend of everything. So if you have any more questions, here in a couple seconds that will show both of our emails, give us a shout and sign up start Monday. Hope to see everybody soon.